This video contains 48 free Meta Quest 2 games you can play right now on App Lab and SideQuest. Now, this is a combination of the previous two videos I have made, but all the links can be found in the description. These games will also be compatible with a Meta Quest free when it launches next month. So recently I've been using this Quest 2 head strap combined with these clip-on earphones from today's sponsor, Kiwi Design. Now I absolutely love both of these products, individually and collectively. They come in very nice packaging and can be assembled very easily onto the Quest 2. Now my favourite thing about the battery head strap is the counterweight that balances out the weight of the headset, allowing for a more comfortable gaming session. And with the headphones I absolutely love how clear the sound is and how much they block out the noise from the surroundings. And they are very comfortable and very easy to install. What is also amazing is you can buy these as part of a package and you can tell they make the quest who looks absolutely incredible now kiwi design are currently celebrating their fifth anniversary meaning if you use this code at checkout you can save 20 dollars when you spend a hundred dollars or more and that's an absolutely incredible way to get your hands on some cheap high-end quest to accessories like the ones i'm using today so happy fifth anniversary to the guys at kiwi design and for everybody else, use this code at checkout for $20 off orders over 100 But you've got to be fast because the anniversary ends on the 25th of September. So first up on our list then is Roblox VR. And of course, this was going to be on this list. It was long awaited as it has officially launched on the Oculus Quest 2. Meaning that great games like VR Hands, VR Islands and many more can now be played using just the Oculus Quest 2 without the PC or without the wire. Now, there are still some experiences that still don't work in the Roblox VR app. But there are still many that are. So it's definitely worth playing. And it's said to be very good, even if it is an incomplete version. Next up then is Lurking Shadows. Now, Lurking Shadows is a game where you play as a nighttime pizza delivery boy and your objective is to deliver pizza as quickly and accurately as possible however as the night progress your mundane job becomes a terrifying ordeal as mysterious entities lurking in the shadows start to appear and get closer each night you have tools like a flashlight taser mirror and sound emitter to defend yourself but they have limited power and each shadow has its own unique vulnerability such as being afraid of mirrors or sensitive to sound and light to survive you must uncover these weaknesses and use your tools wisely and the game bans five nights and the challenge is to make it through all of them without falling victim to the lurking shadow next up then is in run now in run is a dynamic vr experience available on sidequest in this game every session introduces a new game mission to adjust your skill level ensuring a consistently fresh and engaging experience and as you navigate the roads you're encouraged to seek out hidden balloons in challenging shortcuts which adds elements of exploration to the gameplay now collecting coins is essential as your accomplishment converts coins into rewards that enable you to unlock customize and enhance various cards within the game next up then is abc saber now abc saber is a beat saber inspired game where you can learn your abcs while swinging like in beat saber now let's be honest if you don't know your abcs you're probably not old enough to be playing quest 2 so i'm not really sure who this is for but let's just get straight on to the next one next up then is track craft track craft is a mixed reality game available for the meta quest pro and meta quest 2 where you can race and build tracks with lego like pieces using portals tunnels elevators and offering unique features simply turn your surroundings into a mixed reality playground build tracks and share them with your friends and community now this is currently the demo version and the demo version comes with 20 levels unlocked the track editor is in the game and there's three different cars with time attack and collectibles with the full game being aimed for release in October. Next up then is Bowling VR. Bowling VR is a basic virtual reality bowling game that lets players experience the excitement of bowling in a VR environment. Once again, this is a game we've seen loads of in the last couple of years, so it needs no more explaining. So let's get straight on to the next one. Next up then is Paper Toss. Now, Paper Toss is a casual VR game that challenges players to test their paper phone skills in a fun and addictive office environment. In the game, players aim to toss a crumbled piece of paper into a wastebasket in two game modes. In infinite and timed with more coming soon there are realistic throwing physics that offers a delightful way to pass time and compete for high scores as you aim to become the best paper tosser in the office next up then is angry maze vr this is a virtual reality game that centers around the concept of ever evolving maze with a twist the game challenges players to navigate through a maze that's characterized as angry and the narrative suggests that it's not just a maze that needs to change but rather humanity's inability to evolve it in this game the maze itself seems to be evolving due to the introduction of virtual reality players are posed with the question can you adapt 
about the changes in the evolved maze or will you remain stuck in the familiar patterns of the same old maze next up then is the envelopes please vr now this game is a nostalgic throwback to the classic 2002 browser game you play as ir baboon and your goal is to find the missing envelopes before the cartoons cartoons award ceremony the game features 25 3d characters from classic cartoons each with custom animations and it has an aesthetic inspired by cartoon network city bumpers and a detailed environment with hidden references additionally there's a backpack inventory system and the game is complete and ready to play with no need to wait for any updates this is a very big tribute to the classic cartoon network flash adventure game of the past and captures the essence of that era so next up then is VR Coloring. Now VR Coloring is a VR casual game where players choose their favorite sketch and use the touch controls to point and click in order to paint the section of their selected drawings. That's all I can really say about this one. So on to the next one. Next up then is Wicked Balloons. Now in Wicked Balloons, lovable balloons transform into wicked adversaries who kidnap cats that they consider the cutest beings. Equipped with specialized paws, embark on a perilous journey to save the feline hostages and foil the balloons of various schemes. Basically, this is a VR wave slasher with a focus is around slashing enemy balloons. Next up is Zap. Now, Zap is a co-op puzzle shooter that combines classic arcade vibes with modern action-packed gameplay. Whether you choose to play alone or team up with a friend, Zap offers 32 levels set across 20 unique stages, and these levels will challenge your reflexes, aim and accuracy, and situational awareness. The game provides a straightforward yet challenging experience with levels are carefully designed to deliver an exhilarating gameplay experience every time you play. Zap is committed to ongoing updates, introducing new content, stages, game modes, and events to keep players engaged and excited next up then is not my blood not my blood is an action horror shooter where you're facing waves of invading monsters after your family is killed you team up with your drone bodyguard to defend yourself and you can find weapons on the map or upgrade your abilities and equipment to improve your chances of survival the gameplay continues indefinitely challenge you to see how many waves you can endure and the game features aggressively heavy metal music that adds to the intense atmosphere it's currently a work in progress and is free for early adopters and the future plans include more weapons drone bodyguard assistance new enemies skill upgrades hidden discoveries on the map and secret ways to end the game next up then is velocity rush now velocity rush is a free vr game designed for easy and immersive play all you have to do is jump as you navigate the fast paced scenarios weave through obstacles and make quick decisions the game ensures a comfortable vr experience while it's accessible to all skill levels it offers challenges for both casual players and experts each stage is thoroughly crafted introducing new challenges and new virtual worlds so next then is virtual boy go now this is a virtual boy emulator for the quest who that can be used to play virtual boy games in virtual reality on the quest 2 now this isn't a new game or app but it is very new to side quest so it can be easily installed using a side quest app perfect if you are looking for something retro next up then is nightfall warriors now nightfall warriors is a co-op and solo virtual reality game that's focused on fighting supernatural monsters in a co-op mode you team up with your friends or players from around the world to combat evil creatures you and your companion have access to various weapons tools and abilities as you embark on your monster hunting journey the game game offers both co-op and solo experiences allowing players to choose their preferred mode and enjoy hunting down supernatural monsters with the help of their companion. Next up then is Tales of Sinara. Now in Tales of Sinara, you step into the shoes of a wizard, embarking on a journey to fulfill your destiny. As the champions of ancient realm Sinara, which was once preserved by powerful wizards using the elements, forces of fire, water and air, you find yourself facing a significant challenge. The game offers a fresh and unique approach to playing a mage character, where you'll be able to fly to explore your surroundings and cast spells from each hand, adding an element of strategy to your magic battles. So next up then is Tank Turret VR. Now Tank Turret VR is the world war ii panther tank simulator set in the ruins of berlin you are sitting in the turret of a tank and must shoot large rounds at your enemies while quickly reloading to ensure you destroy your way to victory next up then is slither now slither vr is a snake inspired vr game where players step into the world of serpentine action as a stealthy snake your objective is to navigate and engage in the environment and overcome challenges and grow to become the largest snake in the game this game promises an immersive experience facing you at the heart of the action as you maneuver your snake through vibrant landscapes 
Your survival skills are put to the test as you encounter various obstacles and competitors in your quest to become the bigger snake. Next up then is STEM Trek Operation Vigil. Now this is a virtual reality adventure where you play as a scientist on a journey for Antarctica. Your mission is to help Dr. Stephen Daniels who is a scientist who is in trouble. He's been acting strange and sending unusual messages and you must explore the camp to uncover the reasons behind his behavior and along the way you'll interact with the island's inhabitants, create medical tools to address climate change and engage in scientific experiments to discover more about the GAD. So next up then is Quantic Arcade. This is a VR experience that offers a collection of sports games. You can immerse yourself in basketball, darts, duck hunting and archery adventures. In a basketball game you'll use physics based shooting to make precise shots and you can have an authentic dart challenge experience where you master throwing physics for accurate aiming. With Duck Hunt, the game provides a nostalgic experience where you test your shooting skills against fast moving targets in captivating virtual environments. Each game brings its own unique challenges and immersion. So next up then is the Superhero Supply Service. Now this is a VR game where you assist a superhero named Captain Noseworthy. Using the Superhero Supply Service supercomputer, he contacts you with missions and you must race to him in the Superhero Supply Service mobile. That's a bit of a mouthful. You must decipher clues and figure out what special items you need located in the back of the vehicle and deliver it to him before the time runs out. So next up we have the next move demo. In this game you embark on a journey through dreamlike worlds filled with fantastical architecture where you'll face various challenges including climbing rotating towers, pursuing gondolas across misty lakes and leaping over crumbling stone pillars. To progress and solve the mysteries of the surreal world you'll need to combat foes, tackle intricate puzzles and manipulate in time, immersing yourself in an otherworldly adventure that transcends space and time. Next up then is Never Down. Now Never Down is an addictive game where your objective is to ascend by jumping and pushing off the floor. Your agility and speed are key as you strive to reach the top with a range of levels and different difficulties. Now as you play you'll be challenged to demonstrate your climbing abilities, leaping and pushing to reach higher points and the game provides an exhilarating rush as you navigate walls and platforms. And as you can probably tell this game is very very comparable in name and objective to the game only app. So next up then is Mixed Reality Pac-Man. Now this is a super interesting version of Pac-Man where you use the real world as a stage to move in Mixed Reality to avoid the ghosts and become the Pac-Man. It's a completely different take on a classic game that admittedly not many people are going to be able to find a big enough space to use, but it's still a great idea that I actually like the look of. Next up then is Move Fast. Now this is a short experience that lets you get a fun workout while trying to punch, chop and block using your real hands using the Oculus Quest 2's hand tracking feature. So so this is a demonstration for Unity developers showcasing the capabilities of the Interaction SDK for fast action fitness types of apps. So it's not for everybody, but it is free and does deserve to be on this list. Next up then is Moon Soldier. Now Moon Soldier puts you in the shoes of, well, you guess it, a soldier who is on the moon. And you must resist as long as possible as asteroids from an alien mothership come to get you. Likewise, your moon base must not be destroyed by asteroids. Basically, it's a VR wave punching game set on the moon. Next up then is Meta Hazard. Now this is an action-packed virtual reality game available on SideQuest. In this game, players engage in intense 1v1 first-person shootouts set in a mixed reality environment. The gameplay involves strategic weapon usage, attacking opponents' monsters, mastering dodging and shielding techniques, all aimed at emerging as the victor. One of the game's notable features is the flexibility in weapon and shield combination, where players can strategically mix and match various weapons and shields, adapting to their choice dynamically during battles to gain the upper hand. Next up then is Mansion Mystery. This is a new VR escape room game where you are trapped in a mysterious mansion with no apparent way out. You have to use your puzzle solving skills to collect items and interact with the environment. You can solve intricate puzzles in order to escape. The game is really challenging and engaging and the puzzles are carefully crafted to keep you on the edge and you'll need to use your observational skills and creativity to think outside the box and find the necessary tools to solve the puzzles. Next up then is Lark's Mech Standing. This is an arcade style VR game that combines the element of roguelike gameplay and shoot em up action with the game's storyline revolves around colossal monsters called behemoths which have devastated cities worldwide. Players take on the role of a pilot of the Crimson Slayer, the last remaining giant mech and humanity's final hope for survival. And within the game players engage in intense battles utilizing combination of soul play and gun shooting to defeat hundreds of creatures. As players progress they level up and gain access to powerful weapons and 
allowing them to customize their playstyle. The overarching objective is to uncover the mystery behind the invasion's origins and ultimately save humanity. So next up then is the Libro demo. Now the reason I want to put this on the list is because it's quite an interesting concept. It basically allows you to bring comic books into the virtual world and read them as if it was a box. Now it seems simple, but it's the demo available. It's very interesting, it's very cool. Definitely worth something that you could be checking out. Now, Gorilla Rooms is a Gorilla Tag fan game based on the back rooms where you can run around the back rooms. And as always, there are some scares to be had. Now, even though this game admits to be a Gorilla Tag fan game that boasts the exact same locomotion, it does try to be something different by adding the popular back rooms in order to keep the game fresh. Next up then is the park. Now the park is not a game so much but an experience where you tour the inside of natural environments with some ancient Italian statues involved. The graphics are extremely realistic having been made in Unreal Engine. It is 100% free and also available on the Oculus Quest 1 and 2. Next up then is Funny Monkeys. Now no free game list could ever be complete without the mandatory Gorilla Tag knockoff and it won't be the only one on this list but that's exactly what this is. It's the same locomotion with the same kind of backdrop. This game does exactly what you would expect it to as you run jump and climb through the jungle using your arms as a main source of locomotion next up then is heli raid in heli raid you assume the role of a fearless helicopter gunner aboard a stingray the state of the art gunship and you engage in high octane combat raining down on waves of enemies from the helicopter's door gun and protect your ground-based comrades as the aerial guardian you must provide crucial support as you immerse yourself in a realistic world with dynamic enemy reactions destructible environments and tactile weapon feedback Next then is Big Ballers BR. Now Big Ballers BR is a VR sports game that recently became free on the MetaQuest 2 on App Lab. Now the game sees you play basketball, football and other mini games as you face off against other players in fun PvP action. You can dribble, dunk and sprint with the game also featuring a training mode where you can stretch and exercise like an actual basketball player and the game is also still being updated regularly. Next up then is Bumpy VR. Bumpy VR is a casual social VR game where your meta avatars drives a bumper car with the aim of meeting friends or other new people where all you have to do is bump them off the edges while using special items with up to six players and avoiding the opponent's collisions next up then is cloud reach now cloud reach is a fantasy virtual reality game available on sidequest that introduces players to the unique challenges involving block stacking the gameplay revolves around stacking blocks in a balanced manner to construct a tower each block placement requires careful consideration to maintain stability and prevent the tower from toppling over as you progress the challenge intensifies demanding a higher level of precision and strategic planning next up then is glass breakers now in glass breakers you choose your combination of champions from a growing roster of the most heroic villainous and notorious inhabitants of the world of moss each champion has their own unique abilities that will complement the others in your squad and match up against your opponents in a myriad of consequential ways you can also customize your squad swagger to make them distinctly your own and once you've assembled your squad you can battle against friends in private games or match with similarly skilled players in glass breakers community next up then is alien farm now alien farm is the first person shooter game set on an alien planet where during the day you take to your farm growing plants and taking care of animals and then when night falls hordes of giant bugs attack threatening your farm and as you can tell this sounds like a wave shooter where your objective is to survive as many days as humanly possible earn money and expand your farm you can purchase plants animals weapons earn money by selling crops like cabbages eggs and milk and at the beginning of each day you must balance your expenses between growing more crops and animals to invest in weapons and defenses next up then is bounty city now this is on itch.io via a name your own price now while you could theoretically put zero down as a price i always say please support developers it is important that money gets invested into the vr space but bounty city is a first person shooting game where the game features a unique free team combat battle mechanic and the objective is to compete for a suitcase filled with bounties leading to intense and unpredictable battles players aim to claim riches and glory by outsmarting and outgunning their rivals while shaping their own destinies in high stakes adrenaline filled world next up then is drfp which is drift car racing games now this is a virtual reality car racing game available on sidequest it offers a realistic thrilling driving experience allowing you to slide around corners zoom past competitors and strive to win races the game attempts to provide a realistic driving experience complete with the sound complete with the sound of your car's engine and the adrenaline rush of speeding down straightways 
Next up then is Lagazoi, Echoes of the Great War. Now this game is an early access, but this game takes players back to the time of World War 1, where in the game you step into the shoes of a soldier fully equipped with weapons and gear that match the historical period. The game offers an experience by meticulously recreating landscapes like trenches and treacherous mountain slope, giving you a sense of the challenging conditions soldiers faced. The heart of the game lies in these battles where you'll engage in fights against enemy forces, experiencing combat strategies and tactics that were used during the war. Next up then is Dead Man's Quest. Now this is a narrative driven adventure game with a quirky pirate theme that is designed to showcase hand tracking technology. In this light hearted experience you'll encounter colourful characters including a lively pirate and engage in witty narrated dialogue and you'll step into the shoes of an unusual character who finds themselves in a tricky situation. Waking up in a hotel cell at a fort where your mission is to solve puzzles to make your escape. The game draws inspirations from classics like Monkey Island and the humour of movies like Life of Brian. Next up then is Hans Playground or Hans Playground is a free gorilla tag inspired game with a standard gorilla tag locomotion where you travel across map by knocking off the floor and walls with your hands. Like I said, it's every gorilla tag inspired game, so let's just get on to the next one. So next up then is Cardio Combat Fighting. Now Cardio Combat Fighting is an action packed fighting game set in a controlled society during a zombie virus outbreak. You possess telekinesis and superpowers and you are the world's only hope. You must use your powers to defeat them and save the world. The game also promotes fitness, allowing you to burn calories while leveling up your character and challenging higher levels for repeated play. Next up is Colorway Antics. This is an immersive VR coloring game that offers endless creative possibilities where you step into a world filled with paintable scenes, each waiting for your unique artistic touch. You can explore a variety of settings from hideouts and chaotic bedrooms to treehouses, zombie infested parks, outer space and mystical caves. The game provides a range of painting tools to unlock your artistic genius and you can use a versatile paintbrushes for intricate details, apply vibrant colors with a fill tool and have fun splattering creativity with paintballs. There's even a sticker tool to add graffiti inspired graphics to your creation and it's a dynamic playful way to express your creativity in virtual reality. Next up is Deliver Riders. Deliver Riders offers an exciting hardboard experience set in a fast paced world of food delivery. In this captivating game players take on the role of a futuristic food delivery rider. The game involves navigating the bustling streets on high speed hoverboards completing challenges and missions and interacting with unique characters. The game features intuitive controls that allow players to master their hoverboard skills and deliver food speed and precision. Additionally, customization options are available for upgrading and enhancing your hoverboard, adding to the immersive experience of futuristic food delivery in this exciting VR adventure. Now all you need to do is look on screen where you can find 300 plus free games for the Oculus Quest 2 and 3. Bye now and I'll see you soon. Peace!